history teacher, politics teacher, head of Coxes, and uh, famous rugby coach. And um, we're just going to ask you, sir, what are the three things that you'd put in Room 101? Okay, uh, well, the three things I'd put in. The first thing I'd put in is uh, intolerance. The second thing I'd put in would be AS levels. And the third thing I'd put in there would be uh, boys that wear their trousers halfway down their backsides. Could you give some re reasons for those entries? Uh, yes. Well, as a historian and a student of politics, um, what really concerns me about the history of uh, mankind is uh, how intolerant we are. Uh, history is littered with examples where people haven't got on where they should have got on, and it's led to conflict and misery for mankind. Mm -hmm. and, and as a politics uh, teacher, I see it today, you know, particularly on the right wing of British politics. Um, and um, you know, I really do not like intolerant people. The second one, um, AS levels. Um, this, this comes from um, actually the year 12 parents evening the other night. Um, and I just remember when I was at school, which was obviously a long time ago, AS levels didn't exist and you had two years. So you studied for your, what were GCSEs at the time, you had two years uh, to then study for your A levels. Firstly, it meant you, you could study a lot more because there were no exams in the third term of year 12, uh, but also you could get into your subjects in a lot more detail uh, because there were two year courses essentially. And I just think, you know, having worked, most people work very hard for their GCSEs, in a sense, they sort of deserve a, a year off from exams. Uh, so that's that one. And uh, the third one was uh, having said intolerance was my first one, I feel a bit ashamed to say I, I am a little bit intolerant about it. But um, students, uh, obviously boys, that wear their trousers halfway down their backsides and show me their sort of, uh, you know, very expensively labelled boxer shorts, I just feel that is uh, unnecessary and um, slightly offensive. Okay, thanks, thanks very much, sir.